Thank you, President Starr, Professor, professors all class of 2018. It is an immense privilege and honor to be here with you this morning. My hometown, my mother's here. <laughs> Thank you, Pomona College, for hooking me up with the best Mother's Day present ever. So while we were processing, one of you graduating seniors passed me a note. You know who you are. It said, Professor Allen, please be aware, all that stands between me and my degree is your speech. <laughs> and it's raining. It reminds me of Harvard commencement. I'm just sitting in the rain. That's what we do in Boston all the time. So. Welcome to the community. <laughs> it is, as I said, a true honor to be here and to share this important moment with all of you. I know you've come here for many reasons. I believe many of you, despite what you may say about the life of the mind, have come here for a job. And I am sure you will succeed. This place has equipped you. And I am sure many of you have also come to enrich yourselves as human beings, to find the connections that your colleagues spoke about so eloquently. I worried, to be honest, before coming that you had perhaps not come here to find your civic purpose. The data that we read about suggests that young people don't much care for democracy anymore. For instance, only 30% of people born in the most recent generations consider democracy essential to our way of life. And 25% of 18 to 24-year-olds think that democracy is either a bad or very bad way of running things. But I can tell that you are not apathetic. I've learned that this morning clearly. Nonetheless, the work of democracy is hard. And before you leave, I do want to share a few more thoughts on that subject of preparing yourself for your civic responsibilities. For the last 20 years, for reasons that are too complicated to explain in this moment, I have been journeying with the Declaration of Independence. Many of you will be skeptical of the worth of that text. You think it was written by Thomas Jefferson, slave owner. Let me just tell you one important lesson. If you want credit for something, put it on your tombstone. Jefferson's tombstone says, author, Declaration of Independence. <laughs> That's why he gets that credit. In fact, it was written by a committee. He happened to chair the committee. It's true that he wrote the first draft. But the other members of the committee, and in particular, John Adams, man of Massachusetts who never owned slaves and thought slavery was a bad thing, were just as important as intellectual architects of the document. But let me... Yes, Adams is my favorite, okay, of that founding generation. I appreciate the response. Let me just ask you to think with me for a moment. I don't have much time. I remember that note. <laughs> about what I take to be the pithiest, most efficient lesson in the concept of citizenship and civic agency there is. I say citizenship and civic agency because citizenship is not about a formal status. It is about empowerment and taking responsibility for your world. So here's the shortest lesson there is. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. That they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principle and organizing its power in such form as to them 
shall seem most likely to effect their safety and happiness. Tell the truth. Did you remember it was that long? <laughs> it's not just about individual rights, life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. It moves from those rights to the notion that government is something that we build together to secure our safety and happiness. And were you listening closely? We have two jobs. Lay the foundation on principle. Clarify your values. Know what you stand for. And organize the powers of government to secure those rights, to affect our safety and happiness. The best we can do is figure out what is most likely to affect our safety and happiness. We make probabilistic judgments. We make mistakes. We have to enter into the business of democratic agency with humility. And this job of laying the foundation of principle and connecting it to how we organize the powers of government entails two important things. That foundation of principle, what does it amount to? The sentence gives us some ideas. It says, we all have these rights among which, among which, are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Among which, it's examples, people. <laughs> it's not a complete list. The job of thinking is not done. It is your job, all right? Clarify your values. Maybe you care about sustainability. Maybe you care about gender equality. Maybe you care about free markets and capitalism, but connect them to the basic question of what is good for our community together. A shared story. Okay. And then don't forget, activism is valuable, no question about it. But our job at the end of the day is to build institutions that secure our shared rights. That means understanding the user manual, all right? The institutions. And yes, we can alter them. They're not given in perpetuity. Originalism is about understanding democratic empowerment, which is about recognizing that democratic citizens build and change their world. All right? You lay the foundation on principle. That requires talking to each other and everybody else and figure out how to organize the powers of government. Understand the user manual well enough to use it and modify it. All right. So I'll leave you again with my last lesson for you, for your civic preparation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among people, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government. Laying its foundation on such principle and organizing its power in such form as to us shall seem most likely to effect our safety and happiness. Congratulations, class of 2018.